I gave you guys less than a week to make the best fantasy builds that you can, and you you guys did it. There's a um a lot of builds, and they're very big, and they look very pretty, and I was really concerned of how quickly you guys were able to do these amazing builds, so we're gonna go through them today. The first build that we're gonna be looking at is Fairy Family Home in a Tree by Sun Shizzle. The residents of Willow Creek don't know where these giant trees came from, or why whoever owns this lot can't just cut their darn grass already. They don't know within these trees live a family of five fairies who don't give a bit about their property values. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Okay, music. We get it. Wow, this is a really beautiful build. Uh, are the houses not there? The houses are not there. Oh, no, they are. Okay, sorry. The the thing was just off. Okay, let's try that again. Holy freaking moly. Yeah, I if I was a neighbor, I would actually be concerned about these two random trees that just popped up. But, oh my god, what does this lot look like at night? I promise I won't go through it in this. Oh my god. God, that is beautiful. Okay, I am so excited. You have these beautiful like mushrooms. It feels very, oh God, they've got like a little, they studying on this mushroom. Where does a fairy go to school? Bear with me. I don't know how to use this camera in a way that won't make you throw up. This is cute. Where is this item from? Am I dumb? That is so nice. Okay, so the first fairy house. How do you even get into a fairy house is my question. Or do you just fly in through the window? I guess because they're small, you could just fly in through the window. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if there's an entrance. Oh my god, this is so cute. Little uh, little fairy poo place. Is that toilet not too big for a fairy? I would have sized everything down. Oh my god, this is so cute. I guess this is the door. And the, oh god, so many plants and things. The, the clutter, the clutter is so good. Okay, whoa, oh, okay. This build is so small that it, like the camera is just like, buh, 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 buh. Uh, where's the next fairy house? Uh, here's one, this is a yellow one. Um. You go in through the wind. Oh my god, this is so cute. I wouldn't sleep here purely for how many bugs would live in these plants. I think that would be very stressful, just having spiders and flies and bees and butterflies and everything bothering you while you sleep. But if you're a fairy, I guess it's not as scary. If, if you're a fairy, then a spider is bigger than you, therefore it would be scary. So I still don't trust that. Is there is there more? Are there more little huts? Let's go up a floor. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, these are so cluttered. How am I gonna see these properly? Is my question. Oh, this camera. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just go in here very gently. Okay, this is like a little magic room. I love this. Witchy vibes are my favorite thing in the world. And this is so nice. So small and compact that the Sims can't even like process it properly. But uh, this is so cute and all the floaty stuff because it's magic. Oh my god. And a, vo a voodoo doll. That that's a bit concerning. These these uh fairies may have ulterior motives, but we we'll just not ask any questions. Let me just get situated. I know the camera movement's painful. Shut up, but this is so cute. Oh, there's like a bad fairy and a nice fairy, like the whole twin situation going on here. That is so nice. And the different carpet. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to get on this fairy's bad side. Is that it? That's, that's a grave uh, over the bed. Okay, nice job. And they're, they're magic users because they're fairies and they've got like a, this one's my side and this one's your side and we're gonna split it evenly down the middle. Good sharing tactics, guys. Oh, this baby fairy bit. Oh, like a little nursery for the fairy baby. Sims 4 fairies when I we need. That's so cute. Okay, what's in this one? The kitchen. Oh, yeah, because fairies have to eat too. I don't know. Are, are fairies vegan? Because they seem like if anyone would be vegan. What is that? Whoa. I feel like if anybody would be vegan, it would be fairies. That is so cute. There's another one here. There's a library. Oh, my God. Hold on. There's a, there, oh, there's a library that is so cute and they sit and read books that are probably twice their size. So adorable. Are there any more? Okay, that was it. That was so pretty. I, I wish that uh, The Sims had a cheat so I could uh, move forward in time so I could look at this at nighttime. But this is so beautiful. Like for a first, first build of the video, so nice. I mean, a bit painful to maneuver since the rooms are so small and the camera is like, boom, 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 boom. either way, very beautiful. The next one is The Hidden Pirate Cove by Film Property. Welcome to The Hidden Fantasy Cove home to the forgotten pirate ship. Maybe one-eyed Willie lived on the ship. Who knows? Regardless, no human has ever been able to step foot on this ship. It's isolated and mysterious. Explore the island. See if you can find clues on the pirate's disappearance.
disappearance. Or maybe they never left. Oh, <laughs> pirates. I love pirates so much. I'm so excited. I need to put this lot somewhere. I didn't actually think about having an empty lot in order to place this on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love pirates. I love pirates. I love pirates. The, the two things that I love most in this. Okay, three things. There's one fantasy medieval stuff. Two pirates. Three Vikings. And this is this is hitting me right in the aesthetic and I'm so excited. And look, they have a little barbecue thing and they're also like, they're digging for treasure. Oh, this is so good. And I love, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, how the fuck do you get in this place? I think this bit is pre-built, which is fine, but it still looks so good because the bottom like, oh God, and the cannons. They put cannons down there. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh, okay. I like this. So you got the cannons ready to go. I love the little portholes and everything. There are cracks in the walls. Okay, okay. We'll go. We'll go through here first. Oh, yeah. I imagine during a storm, all these tables would go flying everywhere. Oh, my God. This just makes me want to play Sea of Thieves again. This is so nice. This is crazy. I hope we find some skeletons on this place. Okay, let's zoom over here to what I assume would be the captain's quarters. Oh, I want my room to look like a captain's quarters. Oh, this is so nice. Little chairs. And he's got the map because he's got to know where he's going. And he's got to... Oh, they always have like a desk. Oh, my God. This is so good. Good. A little bed. Very fancy for a captain. He must be a very, very rich captain. Like, very rich. He must have plundered lots of booty. Let's go down the floor. So, you've got the kegs and some mysterious oil seeping out from under. Oh, yeah. This is good. But, uh, I love the chairs and things. Like, this is where you would stow away. This is where I would hide myself to chill with some pirates without them knowing. Because I would do that. I want to know how to get down here. So, we're just going to pretend that there were doors because uh, this game likes to not put the doors down even though I put on BB move objects on and oh my god what is all this is this like this is like the proper quarters for all the people who sleep down here um there are lots of floating objects so it makes me think there were supposed to be a lot of beds here so I apologize that the sims literally dislikes your build so much it doesn't want to show you what's actually happening oh my god this is just this is cozy and you can just you can smell how bad these guys smell and that was all she wrote oh my god this is so simple, but it's just oh my god, it's so good. And look, they actually found some buried treasure. Oh, sorry, I'm just this has made me happy. You did a great job. This this hit me right in the aesthetic. The next build we're gonna be looking at is the medieval sci-fi fantasy by Smiley Face Lissy. Welcome to the magical town of Mecha Dragonville, a mixture of spellcasters, aliens, and vampires, a mixture of medieval fantasy and sci-fi, where all your magical fantasies come to life. A land roaming with dragons, dinosaurs, and unicorns. So this only fits it's on the biggest goddamn lot in this town, which is, you know, understandable, and it's probably gonna take about 20 minutes to build, so, um, it's just you and me now. Oh, wow, my, my game is lagging just a little bit. That is a lot of stuff. That's a magical llama goat thing. I don't know how to tackle this build, uh, considering there's there's so much. Uh, we'll go in that building last. I'm curious to see what's in this um, sci-fi bunker that is being guarded by these sci-fi gnomes with the sci-fi, um, what do you call it, mailbox, and a stall with someone selling like brooms and potions and witchy thi- Oh my god, this is- Oh, I love this so much. Okay, we'll go into this room first. We'll see what what's going on in here if you want to go through the scary sci-fi doors there's definitely not a xenomorph whoa so it's like a proper mix of sci-fi and fantasy and i like this like this aesthetic is so nice like you got oh god knitting isn't that that thing from that game so you got the tv and the tablet this guy is just chilling nice bunk bed sims 4 could never wow and the little witchy kitchen with all the herbs and things and robot stuff and like stuff in, is that a fish that's a there, that's a dead fish in the thing i guess someone's cooking fish nice attention to detail wow okay i like i like that room that room wasn't as scary as i thought it would be and oh there's a bathroom in here uh we'll go over here now oh there's a little play park oh that's so cute for all the little sci-fi uh, alien babies and fairy babies how do i get into these rooms i guess the doors have disappeared so we'll just pretend that there's a door like right here because that's where it looks like the door would be i turned move objects on so i don't understand what's happening this is very gryffindor I don't know why I said that. I don't really know much about Harry Potter, but it, it gives me the vibes. And then you've got like a little counter here. Oh my god, like mini apartments. Wow, this is so cute. 
food. Um, a, a bit cramped living, but I guess, you know, maybe the rent in Mega Dragonville is pretty low. Uh, I want to see what's the, there's some magical portals over here with dinosaurs and uh, a graveyard. That's always something really nice to have in your town to remind you about the fragility of life and how at any moment just you can go bye bye what's over here so this is like a little testing facility that um oh no you can come in through here and then not come in through here because uh fucking r2d5 won't let you through this is uh scary i don't like science labs they scare me especially when it looks like they could poke you with a lot of stuff so um i'm just gonna avoid that part for a little bit i want to know what's inside this big ass building so we'll, we'll start down a floor this is like a like a whole ass thing so there's like a little clinic over here Oh gosh, I don't like clinics. It, too many games have taught me don't don't trust clinics. Oh, this is cute. Uh, like I said, the the sterile bit of it kind of scares me. Look, this is why it scares me. Look, they just stick people in here. I don't I don't trust these. Yeah, a lot of the builds that you guys have made me have had very evil clinics in them, and you know what? I don't trust them. So I'm gonna walk away from here at the slowest pace possible, despite the fact that I just really want a GTFO. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh, more beds. Okay, that's nice. Not scary. I was scared that something bad would happen. I like the setup, though. This is pretty cozy. Next one. This looks like a store. Wait, I hope they sell... Ooh, clothes! Oh, this is so cute. Like, a whole ass community in here. That's so cute. And the little shoes on the wall. Nice touch. Okay, next door. What's behind door number three? Spooky door. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. A little vampire room. That's so nice. What is... Oh, that's a bunch of blood. Okay, they're, they're set for the year. Ready for hibernation. I love the mix of sci-fi and like Victorian. It just, it works. You know, more blood. Okay, he's he's set. He's ready. He's ready for anything. Okay, this looks like another store. Oh, it's a it's a little children's area. This is so cute. Oh, wow. This is so much detail. Like, how am I supposed to look at this? How am I supposed to say, oh yeah, look at that. Now 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 look at that. That's so nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, more spooky door with a camera. This guy's really concerned about security. Oh, this guy is not allowed to leave. That's why there was a security camera. What the freaking Jesus Christ. I like this. They they imprison their own community member. Oh, look, he's got the sad mirror. He's so sad. Well, maybe you shouldn't have committed whatever crimes you committed. I wonder if there's a hint in here for what he did. But uh, I mean, it can't be that bad if they still let him live in the community. Nice death note, bro. Okay, let's uh, leave. I don't want to get murdered. Okay, and this one has a flower. So it's probably very colorful. Yeah, that was a nice. I would live next to the the scary guy but you know this is fine and they've got little alien baby oh, a single parent next to a criminal not good real estate my dude this is a big bathroom though this person maybe this is why this person decided to live next to a, a homicidal criminal like oh but i get a bigger bathroom very nice i like i like that clock though okay all right so we did the downstairs oh my gosh we're still on this build this is a huge build we'll go upstairs okay um we'll start right to left like we we always do so we'll start in the night one what's in this one oh this is like um a communal area for people so we go through the soccer room and there's children in here i don't like kids so i'm gonna leave now this looks like a store because it's got an open for business sign or as in simlish okay oh this is an arcade i like this little arcade communal room where everybody can come and play uh, uh why can't i think of a video game this is nice i love all the posters and stuff i imagine the line to get into this place would be quite big i would i would be the one hogging the the pc just saying all right next one. Oh, this looks like an ice cream shop i really hope it is <gasps> Oh, it's a cupcake shop. That's close enough. This is so cute. Oh, I want to see more bakeries. I would love that. That is so nice. I miss going to bakeries. <laughs> I miss them so much. Okay, bye-bye. What's this? This is restaurant, maybe? Oh my god, this place is a whole ass restaurant. I really wish this entire lot could be functional as residential and retail, but what do I know? I don't know anything about what would be fun. This is so cute. Not a lot of tables, but you know. Oh, there's some outside, so you get like three three people. This is so cute. A bit messy. Um, I like the dead fish i like that that touch not very vegan but we'll go with it and then we have one more room to go through oh my gosh this is this build could be a whole
whole last video. Wow, it's a toy shop. I love this. That is so nice. Bye bye. All right, is there another floor to this bitch? No. Okay. Wow. I love the also the parking spot with the with the, that, and it actually looks like it's moving, and it looks like stuff is falling off of it. Why? Do, why are you guys so good at that? Well, this was a massive build. I'm pretty sure I went through every room, and uh, that took a whole lot of time. Oh, there's a little uh, Quidditch area as well. I very nice. I I think, or is that or is that a garden? It's a garden. Never mind. But holy freaking moly, if this lot was 110% usable, I would live here nonstop and also work here. That was wow. Just wow. Nice job, guys. The last one is Haunted Castle by Badan223. This took forever. Appreciate it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. I promise. <laughs> this is gonna take 10 years to build, and that's totally fine. Holy freaking moly! Do you guys see this? What? what? I mean, this belongs in Del Sol Valley. Like, this is a house. This is a house. Okay, let us go inside. Okay, and we'll go inside. We've got these two doors. I think these lead to stairs, usually in castles, but no, this is a little, little library. Very nice. We'll go in through the next one. Oh my god, this is this is crazy. Oh, closet. This is my closet, guys. Hi, welcome to my house tour. So we'll look at the garden with all the walls up. Oh my goodness. How do you build this in less than a week is my question. Like, do you, is this all you guys do? This is so nice. Okay, okay. We'll go, we'll go in through here. And this is the throne room. Hi, guys. Welcome to my living room where you all just stare at me. I love this. I love the, like, the sun around it as well. Feels very very Game of Thrones to me. Let's uh, let's go around the courtyard and go through here. Where do I go? There's so there's so much, and I don't know how to get into any of these rooms. Well, you can play. Don't wake the llama in the hallways. That is so nice. How do I get to this side? Hold on. Give me a moment while I actually figure out how to freaking use this. Okay, there's another door. So you come in through this door, and you come in through this door here, and you've got cars. Like, living in the lap of luxury, it's The Sims 4, and these guys have some freaking cars, and that is freaking awesome. Okay, so we've got a lovely spa here. Oh my god, is that a fountain? Is it gonna, is it gonna do fountainy things? And you've got the locker rooms where you change. Oh my god, this place thinks of everything, and it's got an indoor gym. Wow, this is like modern mixed with not modern. What is it? Vintage. Oh, it's the dining room. Oh my god. Oh, this is so pretty! I love the tables and the floor. Flooring. Oh my god, like look at this. Look at that design. Look at that symmetry. Oh, this is just oh my god god, and you can get married. Oh my, oh, camera. Where am I? You can't get married and have parties here, and you know what? I'll have every goddamn party I have in here, and here's the kitchen. This is so beyond cute. Oh, I love this, and then uh, this is the closet. Okay, now we can go upstairs. Oh, oh, I love balconies like this. I built, when I did my woohoo hotel, I used a balcony pretty similar to this, and it made me very happy. So, we've got another hallway with, they really love Don't Wake the Llama. They really, really like that game. There's some two doors. So we'll go through this door first and this leads us back downstairs. Okay, and then we'll go through this door as well And that leads us back downstairs. Okay, so this takes you out on the ramparts This is very nice and then you come in you zoom in through I Put myself into first person. I don't know how I did that without putting yourself into first person You come in through here through this door and you've got a nice little living room. Very nice Let's see what's through these doors. Uh alien baby room. Okay. All right. There's some lore here Um, and then master bedroom, which is very nice. I love the triple closets going on. What's in here? Bathroom. Okay, we'll back onto the ramparts again. And you zoom in through here, and there's some laundry. This is for the peasants. I don't need to be here. And then we come in through here. Ooh, over the throne room. That's nice. So everybody can watch you be rich. We're gonna go up a floor one last time. Oh, there's so much stuff. Okay, how did, oh, where did the where did the stairs lead me? So you come up the stairs and you get a hookah lounge, which is very very classy, and you also get to take lots of pictures of yourself. This is for the Instagram. We've got the bar, very cute, very nice, and then you also come in through here, and it's just another another bedroom with who loves a lot of company. This person really loves people watching them sleep. Uh, ooh. 
that's a big closet. What's at the end of it? A nice bathroom. This is a bathroom. This is a bathroom. It has more space than what you actually need for it. And they have two cathos. And that makes me very happy. Somebody had an accident, but we're not gonna talk about that. Oh, okay. Is this is this a good camera movement for you guys? Can you see everything that is happening? Now, if you take these stairs on the other side of the ramparts and you go up, you get into a whole other room. Now, this is my bedroom. This is so nice. This is an aesthetic. It's very red. It's very gothic. And they've got TV and a corner couch. What more could you want? Honestly. And then this uh, is... Uh, where, why did that door take me there? Hold on, hold on. What is happening? So that was this massive, massive, massive castle. I don't even want to know how much time it took. I don't even want to know how much effort and blood, sweat, and tears it took to make this. And I hope that being in this video and me butchering it uh, was worth it. I hope that it really made you happy. And uh, I'm just, I'm so happy that you guys, you know, submitted these builds. I was so worried that a week wasn't enough. But I can't wait to see what you guys make next week so uh bye bye <laughs>